javelins, freelancers, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, welcome to another report from Anthem Universe. I am one of your hosts, Ogaz, and today the question is, to melee or not to melee? And of course, that question is coming from a tweet on the back of Ben Irving, the lead producer on Anthem, who tweeted only earlier today, there was some talk about melee builds. We decided to make some gear for the interceptor to allow a melee build, maybe plural. Now this changes things a little bit because it makes us think about what was the original design philosophy behind the game and what contributions, what conversations have driven um, an adjustment to how they're approaching things. Uh, now it's no secret that probably three, maybe about two to three months ago, there was certainly a trend on the Reddit and that trend was very much about melee. Um, we made a bit of a Photoshop joke at one point as well and it became a, a bit of an interest uh, of this idea that melee, a melee build in particular for Anthem could be a very interesting, unique piece. People talk typically about it being either Colossus or Interceptor. But this, of course, is the first real inclination from Bioware that, in fact, they are generally implementing melee elements and, in particular, focusing on the Interceptor. Now, whilst it's not a surprise that that's the particular javelin that they're going for with this, there is a lot of joy in communities. Noted about that um, on the Twitters and in, and in the Reddits, we're seeing a lot of joy. But I guess I want to just introduce that there is, I guess, two parts of this conversation to consider. Now, of course, we're all familiar with the concept of melee. We've been used melee builds in other games. But the curiosity here with Anthem is that it's always been driven as a third-person shooter. So I was looking at comments and people's opinions and trying to get an idea, I think, of what that was all about. And I think, you know, we know that only in the last, what, week it was confirmed on the Anthem website, as per many of my fellow content contributors, uh, that the Interceptor uses a pair of double-bladed daggers to deliver a multi-hit flurry of slashes, dealing damage in a chain of powerful attacks that can be continued indefinitely. So we knew that already, but this is an extension. This conversation is actually saying that we are now creating a full melee build with options and capabilities behind it. There was also an additional question that came on the back of Ben's tweet, and and it was, cool, I hope this amounts to more than just buffs for the default melee attacks. The important thing is to be able to equip massive mech-only weapons instead of gun slots. And the reply from Ben was, it's not either of these. There will be some gear that are melee abilities. And, of course, the response there was hopefully they're giant swords and axes. Now, look, I am excited about the idea of melee builds. I, I do think that's going to be something interesting to see. But there's something innate, there's something inside of me that's also questioning that conversation. The challenge of a melee build could introduce a number of concerns for me. One concern in particular could be the idea that if you're in a team, you're going to have one individual trying to maybe take on bosses or titans in melee and just driving you nuts. That could be one drawback. The second is that this game by definition, the ranged conversation, has been a very significant conversation to this point. So whilst I'm not negating, I think, this idea of going melee, I think it's going to be a very interesting conversation. It's going to be interesting to see where this will go. So, yeah, look, I'm going to sit on the fence on this one. I, I like the idea there's some something, you know, I think we all love to hack and slash. We love to bring out, especially those double daggers of Interceptor. It's going to be great fun. But at the same time, this game and the engine and everything, the level, the verticality, all the things that we've seen with Anthem so far have driven to a very uh, distanced third-person shooter action game. Uh, so my worry is potentially that if we start to introduce a melee build, then that could raise some questions. It's not so much about balancing, because we're not doing PvP as yet, um, but it's still a concern, I think, because from a build point of view, from an engagement point of view, uh, it's it's not really something that I think was the original intent by this design. Uh, at the same time, I guess the logic there is, well, don't pick the interceptor. You know, if you're not if you're not game for that, then don't do it, which is true as well. Although a lot of people do like the fast-paced ninja-esque passion that we're seeing behind what the interceptor is turning out to be. So in short, I don't think it's a, a massive concern right now. I think it's very interesting. I, I find this a very intriguing, not shift, I won't say shift, but it certainly is an additional change to what we've seen up to this point. And I wonder to what extent the conversations on Reddit and other places about melee builds have had on the studio. And it may very well be that, let's face it, a number of us love RPGs and other games, as do Bioware, of course, in this environment. And I think a lot of us deep down do enjoy a melee build, as long as it can be implemented smartly. I think that's going to be the trick. 
But of course, we'll see more from that in the coming days and weeks. I'm going to wrap it there for this one, short and sweet. But guys, thank you for joining us this evening, this afternoon, or this morning, wherever you are in this awesome place on this awesome planet. Do check out Anthem Universe on Twitter. Um, of course, you can jump in the Discord, which is discord.anthemuniverse.com. And of course, you can jump on the YouTubes, check out, subscribe, follow, do all those crazy things. Guys, thank you for joining, and we'll catch you next time. Javelins, freelancers, we will see you next over the wall.